Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am hanging out right here, taking a look at my Jungle Island map. You can see the Ocean Monument way up there, kind of peeking out. You can't see much, it's just the roof. But the main reason I'm doing this is because I want you to take a close look and see if you can figure out if anything has changed. I know what's changed, but do you? And that's all we're going to say about that. So last time what we did is we built a little project board out here and I asked for your help to decide what to do next okay I built it right there and uh, well we got some we got a response and we're gonna take care of that today but before I reveal that to you I've got to tell you I am sorry now I just kind of threw that project board together just just threw some sandstone down and and called called it quits and really that's not what I want to be known for and I did not do my due diligence on building that and so what I have done is changed up things a little bit and off camera I have been working and out here instead of the project board we're gonna go with just kinda dressing it up planting the various trees you can see I've brought some birch birch trees over and uh, we've got the huge huge jungle trees right there and I even went and found some acacia but that's a little adventure I took without you I am sorry about that but I can't record all the time and I want to show you the new project board okay and we're gonna go up to my office and you may be wondering when did you get an office well I've been doing some work off camera. Okay, so first things first, you notice what's missing over there? Yeah, the portal's not there. Hmm. Wonder where it went to. Let's go take a look over here. Oh, there it is. Yep. So now the portal is really loud. Let's change up. What are those? Is it ambient? No. Blocks. Ah. That's good to know. So. I've put the portal cube right here. It's in the exact center of the tower. Maybe eventually we'll have an item elevator going through the middle up to a storage system. Who knows? But I've moved that and let's go through and see what we can see real quick. The main thing is that I want to get some coordinates. Hey buddy. He had spawned in the base and I think he came back through after the timeout. So let's get the F3 and take a screenshot and there that's going to serve us in the future oh yeah so what I've done is I moved the nether hut from there to right here so we're gonna be starting from here and doing the nether hub because the portal is in the correct place there or back here in the tower and I'm still looking for names so if you've got a name suggestion, let me know in the comments below or catch me on Twitter at MC Soap the Great, and we'll get it put up right here, okay? i got plenty of room. If you've got ideas, this tower stretches from bedrock to build height. We've got a mob farm up top, gold farm, and iron farm, and we're just going to be building our base in here. So, Okay, that's good enough for that advertisement. You can see that instead of the long climb up that ladder right there, I've now got a minecart elevator. So let's head on up. See, we've got floors, kind of like I did on the Two Crafty server. And wherever I figured there was going to be something interesting, I put a minecart so we could jump off. And here we go. We're at the base where all the pigmen fall and the iron golems get crushed and I couldn't go any further well I guess I could but you can't go through the iron farm that would kinda of defeat the purpose so I had to come up with something else so let's take a look at this one look at that I had a lot of fun putting it up together and I've had a lot of fun just coming up here and writing it just to get up into my office area right here and I get automatically ejected from the minecart, which is pretty cool. There's the minecart system for this section. And if we go up here, this is the new pr 
project board, okay? So what we've done is I've got adventures over here and projects listed over here. We've got these source projects right here. So these are ones that are not in consideration at the moment. These are ones that we've completed and I'm not going to go back and finish. Well, maybe I will. The various projects that we've already done. I might put those in there. I don't know. And then completed ones here. We did find a dog last time. So this time we have got we'll find a witch hut, find ice plane spikes, find rabbits, and random. Um, I've already taken out the project or the adventure we're going to do today. And it's sitting in current. Okay. And I haven't moused over it yet, so you can't see it. But what we're going to do is after the completion of either an adventure or a project, um, I will pick out a new one to replace, and then the next episode will switch. So this time we're going to do an adventure. So the next episode we're going to do a project, and the source ones that we can choose from, okay, so get ready, Wither Skeleton Farm, Slime Farm, Enderman Farm, and we'll have a reminder at the end of this episode as well. So you can choose from those three or random. Okay, and the way the random works, hopefully this does work. Let me just make a note. I've lost some of these bits of paper. Just uh, just doing that, okay? Let's see, we'll chuck that in there. And don't worry, there is some redstone here, and I will show that to you. But if you choose random, what we're going to do is I'm going to take all of the projects, chuck them right here, and then hit this button. And there we go. So in this case, we would choose a slime farm. And that's what we would build. Okay. But, uh, you know, we're not going to do that this time. Let me just come down here and explain the mechanism going on. So that is a slab right there, which means a hopper can suck items right through it. And I've got a hopper line going to a dropper. And in case you didn't know about the mechanics of droppers, if you've got a redstone signal going to them, they will randomly pick one of the items in there to shoot out. So it's a way of getting a bit of a random number generator. And that's what we're doing. We've got buttons on these two. So that right there, that's a solid block. That's a solid block. This one's pretty direct. The button powers that block, which then carries the redstone signal to that dust, which fires the dispenser, or uh, dropper, sorry. This one's a little bit more complicated because of the hopper right there. So the button is above that block and that power. Is that the right one? No. That one. And then powers the redstone that's up there. You can't see it. Carries the redstone signal on down. Carries it into the block below the dropper and we get the same effect. Okay. So down here we've just got more pieces of paper and a little anvil in case we want to add more projects and adventures and uh, you can take a look here we've got find mushrooms kind of low on the adventure so if you've got an idea for an adventure to put up here let me know I would love to put it in there same with the projects now I've got a pretty good idea of the projects I want to do I've got a bit more of uh, kind of adventurers block it's not my my standard game so I, I might need some help there but Okay, so that is the project board, and it's got my own little flare, got a little bit of redstone in it, so I feel a lot better about this. I'm, I'm, I'm not too crazy about the openness up there, but I don't know, we'll see. So, with that said, what we're going to do now is take a look at the adventure that we're going to go on today. Okay, you ready? We're going to find a Mesa. All right, Neelium Archa, a longtime supporter of the channel, suggested finding a mesa because we're going to need hardened clay probably for some upcoming builds and he's correct it, it, it would be nice to have that so we're going to go find a mesa today but that is after we take a look at some of the redstone for this minecart system okay so i've also added kind of this penthouse view so we can see off to the northwest there you can overlook the beach area down there in fact uh, one of these projects here, Seaside Village. Okay, yeah, Seaside Village. That is going to go down in that beach area. I'm not sure where 
down there, but it's going to go in that area. Okay, so just to give you a heads up, I'm, I'm not going to keep all of these projects secret. I'd like you to know what's coming and have a, a say in what we're going to do. Okay, so um, that's, that's why we're doing that. But let's explain this system a little bit. So the minecart comes up from the floor below. That is uh, way down there at the Iron Golem collection point. And you get shipped off to the side here. That's an activator rail. It's powered. It kicks you out of the minecart. And the minecart continues on to a cactus over there. i got to be careful here. i got efficiency 5 and haste 2. So, yeah, there we go. And that went into the hopper. Hmm. I don't have any more. Okay, whatever. So, the... Minecart gets hit by the cactus, turned into an item, and the hopper just sucks it up immediately. And then it eventually goes into this dispenser. Let me just get this block out right here because we're going to need that. And we will put the powered rail back, and I'll show you how that works after we clean up our mess. So this is pretty simple. It's just a hopper line. No fancy redstone there. And, uh, and yeah, so... The, my cart goes that way. It does not go this way. Instead, what we've got is, uh, let's see, I'm going to get stuck down there if I do this. Hopefully I get all of my blocks back. Yeah, got it. Okay, so what you do is you step on that pressure plate. That powers that block right there. I'll hit it, not with a pick, that block right there. And it carries the redstone signal to that line. And it also happens to... Yeah, I'm just going to have to jump down here. Okay, so we've got a torch powering this block, which is powering the rail currently. And then when you step on the pressure plate, it turns that torch off. And then we get a signal coming out of here. And that torch turning off depowers this block, which depowers the, the powered rail right there. So that keeps the minecart from, from going. And then... Just a little bit later, after this has enough, this torch has enough time to turn off, we get a signal going into this block right here, which fires the dispenser, and there should be a minecart in there, and that's going to get shot up onto the rail, and you're ready to go, okay? So, are you with me? You with me so far? All right. And the reason you want to do that, you turn off the rail. Let's clean our mess up. So, go there. Is that right? Hmm. No, I messed something up. Maybe not. I have too many? I guess that works. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, so you step here. We get the minecart. And then as soon as you get off the pressure plate, that torch is going to turn right back on. It'll power the powered rail. And then you will get sent off in the minecart. Going on down here. And we go down. At some point, the minecart stops making noise. No, no, it didn't. Okay. All right, so here we've got a little bit more complicated of a system. Um, once again, you come down the powered rail here. You go across this activator rail, and that kicks you out. And then the minecart continues on and comes around to a collection mechanism right there. Okay, so you see that minecart comes on up. Gets hit by the cactus, goes into the hopper line, and that goes into that dispenser right there. Okay? When it is going across, we get a, we've got a detector rail that will send a signal to the dispenser, and that will shoot another minecart out. If we take a look at the dispenser, I've filled it up, so we'll, we should never have an issue with minecarts, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Oh, the starting mechanism. All right. Let me not get in a minecart, not send one up top. Okay, so you see we've got a string right there. Listen. You see that? Watch the powered rail. Okay, so it, it comes on for a little bit. Okay, so we, that string right there is actually giving a block update to a piston right here, which is budded. And if you're not familiar with budding... That's uh, it's called block update detector, and if you power a piston and it doesn't realize that it's powered, then 
it will eventually power itself if it receives a block update and hitting string will force a block update. Okay, it's pretty simple. We've just got um, a piece of redstone here and above a slime block and that will bud the piston below. It's an easy way to get a budded piston and when that redstone block comes up we get a signal onto there that powers the uh, it's a furnace so that the slime block doesn't move it and then we get output out of that repeater and it goes into a pulse extender right here it powers that block which runs a piston and that's pushing a redstone piece of redstone block down to power the powered rail below okay so when you get into that minecart what's going to happen is you'll get a redstone output there and you'll get shot off immediately up top and go on your way so that was pretty cool quite enjoyed that but, uh, but yeah that's the minecart system thus far now what we need to do is get ourselves ready and go to the Mesa. 